Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michal and today we are watching Better Call Saul. Oh, it took me a minute to remember Better Call Saul, season one, episode five. I listen, Jimmy, this show shouldn't be called Better Call Saul. It should be called Better Call Jimmy because Jimmy is one of the brightest, most creative people I've ever seen. The way he puts on this show and makes himself look either too stupid or a hero. And he wins both ways. I just love how the story makes me think that I'm going in one direction and then it takes me to the complete opposite, um, like they did with the opener in uh, episode 4. And, and their Rolex and like they did in the same episode <laughs> with the, 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 the guy and uh, who fell, almost fell from the billboard. That was so good. It was a fun episode. I left a lot. If you haven't seen it, then go check that out. I have a playlist for Better Call Saul. It was a really good episode. I'm really dying to dive in. You know what's interesting about the previous episode? We saw the difference in reaction to Saul's, to Jimmy's um, con. Uh, the difference between how Kim took it and then how Chuck took it. Kim, she, she likes, she likes Jimmy. She had that little smile and she had that sentence, everyone loves a hero. I think she loves the hero. On the other side, we saw Chuck, who was so disappointed and disgusted that he curled up in his space blanket. Oh my god, Chuck. Anyway, uh, let's not waste any time and start watching the episode. Yes, we're starting with Chuck. Oh, she called the police because he took her paper? Oh my god. I bet I have better things to do than, you know, see who's the guy who took her newspaper. And left money, by the way. He left money. But, okay, let's be pity about it. <laughs> Sir, we'd like to talk with you for a minute. Could you open the door, please? Look, we know you're in there. You're casting a shadow through your peephole. <laughs> All we want to do is talk. Would you please open the door? I have a condition. Yeah. Uh, I can't go outside or be exposed to what's out there. You were able to come outside to steal your neighbor's newspaper. I've left five dollars. The cover price is 50 cents. Yeah, it's way more. I cannot believe she called the police. Oh my God. That's probably going to be me in 60 years from now. He cannot just go in. No! What? Hey, Tommy, come around here, would you? And that's why the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that they... <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, like you said, he has a condition. What do you want? A lot What's of cans problem? don't fuel. Guy sure as shit sounds like a tweaker. You see what he did to the breaker box? What, does that mean something that I don't understand? Something with the electricity or, or, or what? You got 10 seconds to open this door or it's coming down. You hear me? No phones, no walkie talkies, no flashlights. Definitely no tasers. I can't emphasize that enough. Oh my God. What the fuck? I don't know what kind of math they did with the electric board and the things he had on the floor. That dude is loaded. This is my assistant's car. <laughs> oh my god, this is so sad. Insight the first. You ain't afraid to put yourself out there. You believe in the real. Oh fucking Jesus Christ. When I see a man like you driving that foreign shit box of a car, it's a sign a good man can't get ahead today. His entire house is my nightmare. I want to secede from the United States. A sovereign state, immune to the business killing regulations. We are going to be America's Vatican City. Yeehaw! 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 
What's your rate? <sighs> 450 an hour. That's nothing. How about one million dollars? <gasps> He's trying to pretend like he doesn't care, like it's nothing. That seems fair. Would you like that in cash? Smooth, Jimmy. He cannot even say yes. Oh my God. Yo, yo, oh, you know what's funny? Did you see he had the lion where he was sitting and Jimmy had, a, is it a gazelle? What do you call that animal? Oh my God, he actually has cash. What the f... <laughs> nice. Tax-free and backed by the full faith and credit of the... So oh my God. Jimmy, absolutely. Uh, hello. Please, come on in. Oh, well, thank you. God. He looks cheaper. Patent law is something you... Oh, yeah. So what do we got? Nothing. Yeah, it's probably just garbage. You ready? Oh, my God. My wife and I have two boys, four and six. Toilet training them? Nightmare. Meet Tony the Toilet Buddy. Oh, my God. I don't think that that's count as a patent. Oh, yeah, that's the way. Gosh, you're big. You're so big. Fill me up, Chandler. Put it in me. Oh, my God. Give it to me, Chandler. I want it all. Ah. Oh, shit. It's a little sexual <laughs> a little just a tad you're completely disgusting you know that hey buddy you're the one with the sex toilet i hope you do make a fortune because chandler's gonna need it to help pay for his therapy so all those seven calls seven messages he got that was just a waste of time i guess oh my god now she's going to want to talk about her kids and the family and her life and her medicines. I want the toe-headed twins to go to Reverend Lawrence's grandson. Don't you mean Reverend Haynes? And here I thought all lawyers were idiots. Only half of us are idiots. <laughs> the other half are crooks. <laughs> if I were 40 years younger, I'd have you buy me a piña colada. Now, uh, my fee is $140. I think that's what's going to push him to nacho. A hundred and twenty forty. Okay. <clears throat> Just breathe, breathe. How's it going again? Oh, you're huge. Oh my God. Oh, where does it end? <laughs> Not quite, but close. <laughs> Even your lousy days are more interesting than my good ones. We should definitely do something about that. Two wills and I started a living trust. Whoopee! I mean, if you make friends with old people, they will be eternally grateful. Getting old sucks. Seniors need someone on their side. I used to work with seniors, cleaning their house, doing some uh, errands. Yeah, okay. I'll see if I can um, track Jimmy down. I'll call you back. Oh, 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 Chuck. Oh, he's at the hospital. No, it needs to be on. I'm hey, getting security. No. Sir, I need you to get down from there. What the hell kind of torture chamber? Oh, I like her. She's a good actress. Yeah, hey, let's go. Okay. Hold on. Hold on a second. What the hell? Have some compassion. He is gonna calm down. I need you to say the words, Jimmy. I need to hear yeah. it. Yeah. I'm calm, okay? This is... I'm really angry right now because they, they're not even listening to him. It's real. My phone, stuff, anything with a battery in it. He can't have it near him. So it, it's actually something physical? Charles should be committed for 30 days of psychiatric observation. Hmm. I'd rather not. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm right here. 
the police kicked in my door. No warrant, no cause. They tasered me, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Chuck. Do you, do you have a phone or a, a page or anything with a battery? I don't think so. Uh. <laughs> Oversight. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Electromagnetic hypersensitivity. I've never heard of that condition before. When did you first experience these symptoms? Must have been almost two years. That's a long time to live with discomfort. Why is he looking at Jimmy like that? You think I'm crazy? I never said that. Anyone who spent more than a few minutes with me knows that this isn't some kind of delusion. Have you ever seen me exhibit any sign of mental illness? See? If I thought for... Yeah, but that... <laughs> okay. What do you do for light? How do you prepare food? Cooking. I have a camp stove. I have a large cooler that I keep filled with ice. <laughs> Would you mind if I took a moment to speak with your brother? Make sure you still have your wallet when you're done. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> I want to go home. Oh. Oof, oof. There are specialists. You see specialists, okay? The best doctors from here to Denver. None of them help. Not one. So you're ready to give up? I'm the one doing the heavy lifting here. Toilet paper and ice and every other damn thing he needs. Is that helping or enabling? Wow, this is a hard, hard decision. I'm sad for both Jimmy and Chuck. Oh boy. Oh no, Howard. Uh, How's he doing? Better, resting. Oh, he really cares about Chuck? I want you to know that I've talked to the DA and he absolutely will not sign off on any commitment papers. You're a real peach, Howard. Why the attitude? Because if Chuck were committed, then I become his legal guardian and I cash him out of HHM. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay. We still need to flesh out Howard. Wave bye-bye to your cash cow, because it's leaving the pasture. I'm committing him. Oh, just to spite Howard? I just want to see that son of a bitch <laughs> sweat. It's so obvious what he's afraid of. Whatever he told the doctor, it sounds like something that can actually happen. Like something that can actually be a physical condition. Oh, it, like, wow. This is so traumatizing. Having the police break in, breaking down the door. There's nothing to talk about. You took the paper, you saw this, you got sick. I didn't get mm -hmm. sick because I read about you in the paper. I got sick because I went out of my house to retrieve the paper. <laughs> you think this is the return of slipping Jimmy, but it's not. If you want to advertise, that's your business. Business being the operative word there, Chuck, because I, I have gotten mm. business off. Business. I, I'm, I'm kind of starting to specialize in elder <laughs> law. <laughs> in the elderly. <laughs> Getting old sucks. Seniors need someone on their side, so you're looking at them. Well, that sounds promising, but it has nothing to do with my condition. From here on out, I'm going to play by the rules. I wonder how many times he said that before. I'm sure the truth will come out, if indeed that's what we're all interested in. Single-breasted? <laughs> Light blue or cream? God, the proportions are so funky. That's like jackpot for Jimmy. I can never really imagine myself that old. I have the attitude, the soul of an old woman, but I cannot really imagine myself looking old. Ah, uh, that's amazing advertisement. How are you this fine morning? I'm just fine, and how about you? Very good. Sweeten up to the ladies. Who's the banker here? That's the only one I want to talk to. There he is. <laughs> Good. Whoa, what a grip, young man. Yeah, watch out. That's my will writing hand. Wait a second. Is that Veronica Lake? Give me a hug, beautiful. Yes, you look great today. What is he doing over there? It's 
fucking late. What you reading there? The complete annotated book of rules for parking validation. <laughs> I'm doing elder law now. Oh, that is so rude. Give me a call if you uh, <laughs> if you happen to know any elders. Nice save, Jimmy. Why are we still on him? What? What? Who? Who is that? He was nice to him. So that's the place he met with Saul and Lydia, right? Oh. That's, what's her name, Kaylee or Kylie's mother? Wait, how many years is that before Breaking Bad story starts? <laughs> of course, he has a bat. What? A long way from home, aren't you? You and me both. What? What? That's a weird way to end the episode. What? What's that? Huh. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. So, uh, a very chill episode today. Uh, I still loved it. I mean, Chuck, he brings out that part in me that goes out to, to elderly people, to the, uh, elder, 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 Oh my god, it's a hard word. Elderly. <laughs> I worked with uh, old people for a few months. And not all of them were nice. But somehow, uh, over time, those who were not so nice and friendly to me, kind of, you know, bro uh, we broke the ice and we got along and they realized that, hey, you know what? I might be not as good as the, the older, uh, uh, women who may have been doing this for longer than me, but isn't it fun when you have someone younger? Right? I mean all the other workers they were at least I don't know 45 and I was back then I was 20 22 yeah, it was before I started college. So yeah, I was 22. So think about the difference. I mean suddenly you have a young person coming and they don't complain when you ask them to to move the the oven a little bit so you can clean behind the oven or uh, go on top of, of a chair to to you know dust the the cabinets or whatever so a part of me really feels for Chuck because he is much older uh, with Mike, I don't feel that way because he's a badass. He can definitely take care of for himself. He doesn't need help from anyone. But that last scene, I'm thinking, I mean, the, the, he was parking outside of, of a house of a woman. I, th I think she, she, I don't know if Kylie, Kylie or Kaylee was born when the, the story begins with Jimmy. Maybe she's a baby. I don't know if she's his daughter or daughter-in-law and then they stared at each other and then the police came over to his house. I'm thinking maybe sh they have a uh, restraining order against Mike. So maybe that's why they came over. He and the, the cop that showed up, they, uh, they know each other. Okay, so we're going to start to see more of Mike and his story. That's cool. I think Jimmy's approach uh, in this episode was great. I kind of felt sorry for him, for the type of clients, potential clients that reach out to him after that whole billboard hero thing. But you know what? He saw that those older people, you know, they, they're they're good clients. They're reliable they're honest they have the cash 
I think he was really surprised to see that the lady actually had $140 in cash in her wallet. So yeah, I guess for now he's embracing it. He took inspiration or completely ripped off the style the actor had on, uh, I, I think it was a show, I don't know. You tell me if you recognize it. Um, his attention to details is great. Just the way he understands people and how they will perceive certain things, like how a person is dressed. Maybe if they see a lawyer dressed in all white, they will think of them as an angel. Because, I mean, let's face it, they're very close to death right <laughs> oh shit i think uh for now at least uh, that's a good deal and the the way he publicized himself with the jello that was brilliant that was so jimmy we know that at the end the persona he's going to take on uh is gonna be soul but for now i'm i i wonder if throughout the show he will always change his style and put on a, a, a show of like a different character. That could be cool to see. We met uh, the doctor. I, I think, I don't know, I think we're gonna see her again because she's a really good actress. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just hoping right now. Just this, this is just me hoping and wishing for maybe a love triangle to go on over there with Jimmy and the doctor and then Kim. She might get jealous. And Kim, by the way, it's, it's, I have no doubt right now that she loves him. Not just in love with him as in infatuated, but just she loves him. Uh, well, we saw Howard. I thought he actually cared about Chuck, but I think Jimmy was right when he said what his real intentions were. Uh, yeah, and, and um, Chuck with that whole uh, condition, I get it that it's in his head, but the way he explained his kind of fake physical condition, it sounds like there's really a condition like that. I, I, I don't know, it just sounds like someone can actually have issues with electricity. But, but I don't know if the doctor is, says that it's stupid i mean she didn't say that but she might as well um then maybe there isn't such a thing the way he was uh in in bed with his mouth open and he was staring at the lamp oh my god it was it looked like he's about to die the scene with the cops breaking into chuck's house that was really uh really intense uh, it was kind of hard to watch because they they didn't want to listen to him and also it it doesn't seem like they were using their heads it, I don't think it's just because I know the character and that he's but when someone tells you he's afraid to open the door he's just stole a paper and then he tells you please don't bring any electricity in isn't it clear that he's n not so clear in his head <laughs> but what was funny is that he told them no tasers and so they pull up the tasers it's so funny so i'm happy with this episode it was a good episode i think every episode is going to be good and i hope you enjoyed this video you know if you do give it a like I think it's kind of redundant to say that. I think if you're gonna, if you like the video, obviously you're gonna like it, right? Right? Anyway, I hope to see you next time. Usually I upload Better Call Saul on uh, Thursdays. So yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of the week or weekend, whenever it is you're watching. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.